Okay, let's get the jokes and the double entendres and the laughs out of the way. I'm staying in the Cock Hotel. Had a good laugh? Okay, now let's have a look at it. Hi, it's Craig. Welcome back to Craig's Life and welcome to, if you're still laughing, you've got a filthy mind, welcome to the Cock Hotel in Stony Stratford. This is just a few miles outside of Milton Keynes in Buckinghamshire. Now Milton Keynes is a newish town. It was built around the 60s. It's built on a grid format, a bit like Manhattan. So most of the streets are H and numbered. Uh, for, hor for, for horizontal and V for vertical. So it's actually quite an easy place to find your way around. And there's lots of green spaces in between. But a lot of the town centre is just very bland and it's very concrete as, as a lot of the new towns were. Um, personally, I don't think much of the place, um, but I'm not in centre of Milton Keynes. As I say, I'm just outside of it. And today is the 10th of September 2023. I'm here for three nights. The customer I'm actually working for is in a place called Wolverton, which is just a few miles away from here, which again is without going into the centre of, um, of Milton Keynes. Um, this has cost me £250 for three nights. And the Cock Hotel is on the High Street in Stony Stratford, and it's, it's a pub. And it, basically it's a pub with rooms, I would say. It is part of the Green King chain of pubs, bars, restaurants. So there's a pub, bar, restaurant um, downstairs below me right now. So let's have a little look at the room and see what we think. So as soon as you walk into the room, the first thing you see is another door, which is actually to the bathroom. But if we look directly to the right, here is... The room and on the face of it it's quite a nice room it's uh, not the biggest room but um, I rather like the bed I like what they've uh, done with it we've got the oldie worldy style light switches there you've got a well for reading lights you've got a couple of chandeliers um, you've got plug sockets on both sides of the bed we have a nice rather traditional looking wardrobe over here which inside contains an iron and an ironing board and there's also a hairdryer and on that shelf a second ago there was a fan which I have actually just um, plugged in. Here's the view out onto the high street in Stony Stratford. Uh, we've got uh, secondary double glazing as well as the original uh, sash windows here. The thing that I found with this is for those of you who are maybe slightly arachnophobic there are some spiders and some cobwebs and a, a dead spider up there. Uh, so a little, few little cleanliness issues. There's a lot of spiders behind there, a lot of cobwebs. So it's not the best but to be fair once this is up here it's actually quite difficult to get into there anyway so that can be forgiven. Oh, actually, having a closer look, that will actually pull down. So, yeah, they could be a little bit more uh, thorough with their cleaning there. Oh, there oh, the big spider, there he is. Look, he's back. OK, I'd have to go and get him. Um, opposite, we've got a dressing table area. I rather like the, uh, the captain's style chair there. It's, uh, it's very nice. Uh, here's a fan. I brought my own fan. I actually also brought my mini fridge because we've just had a heat wave and it's rather hot. Unfortunately, the fan, as you can see, isn't really that clean. It's a bit of a shame. Got some traditional style light fittings on the wall there. And quite a small TV, which looks like maybe a 23 inch. Uh, but it's directly opposite the bed. And the bed itself um, it's actually quite comfortable. It's it's quite soft. So it might be a little bit too soft uh, for some people's uh, taste, but um, for me, I think it'll be be all right. This is clearly an old building. I do not know how old. I mean, if we look up there, there's signs of some some wear and tear. But you know, as I say, this is an old building. And actually, when I um, checked in at reception above the reception, there was one of the old uh, chimes. So these sorts of rooms would have had a um, uh, a bell 
where you would have actually rung and the little indicator in the reception would have actually just pinged to let you know which um, which room is uh, calling for service. So uh, goodness knows how old this building is, but uh, I think on a whole actually it's it's not too bad. Let's have a look at the bathroom. Okay, here is the bathroom. Toilet with the sink directly opposite. And we've got a bath with a shower over it with a shower curtain. I've already had a look at the shower curtain. It is clean. The towels here, um, they're not the biggest, but they are certainly nice thick towels. So not got a problem with those. We have some toiletries here in the shower and here so that you don't have to have all the separate ones. This is just a liquid hand soap and this is a hair and body wash. I have no objections using those. And we've also got a light here with a shaver socket as well, should we need it. A um, few little cobwebs about, but it's clean. That's the main thing, it is clean. Okay, so I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually doing my final summary of the hotel on the last morning before I actually check out. And I thought this way, I'd be able to actually tell you what my stay's actually been like here at the Cock Hotel in Stony Stratford. Well, I found out a few little bits and pieces about the hotel. The whole town of Stony Stratford is quite an old town and is reputed to be haunted, as apparently is this building, if you believe in that sort of thing. This is an old coaching house which dates back to 1480 and some previous notable visitors to the Cock Hotel include Samuel Johnson who wrote the first English dictionary, Charles Dickens and the Duke of Wellington or so the plaque on the wall outside of the building says so. So what has the stay been like? I didn't eat in, in the pub although it did look very nice and there was quite a nice looking um, menu but for me personally, I feel a little bit Billy No Mate sitting in there by myself, so I didn't bother. Um, the bed was very comfortable. It was a bit uncomfortable the first night, but that's because we've been in a bit of a heat wave and not the hotel's fault. Um, nice pillows, nice thick fluffy duvet, probably too thick for um, a heat wave. It doesn't, doesn't matter. I didn't really cover myself with it, but um, certainly a nice bed and certainly very comfortable. The Wi-Fi is the cloud. Um, the thing is with that is it disconnected itself every so often. You just have to reconnect. Not the end of the world, but if you're watching something and it just suddenly stops and you have to reconnect. But that's that's, that's not too much of a problem. So what else is ar around here? We're about 20 miles away from Silverstone, where they hold the races and the Grand Prix. Uh, there's Gulliver's Kingdom, just the other side of um, Milton Keynes there. Milton Keynes is quite a big business area. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, I'm, it's not much of a place for me, personally. Uh, on the far side of Milton Keynes, you've also got uh, Bletchley. Now, Bletchley is where the code breakers were and where they cracked the Enigma code. Now, I've been there, and there's a Museum of Computing as well, which is open on certain days as well. It's well worth going to have a look at that one. So a little recommendation there from me. Now it's the time to give the hotel a score and would I stay here again? Yes, I'll stay here again. It's rather nice. Now the score. I'm going to be a bit different with this one because I'm going to do something I don't do very often. I'm going to give it a half score. I'm going to give it three and a half. So of course one being the worst, five being the best. Uh, my initial view would have been a three because there were a few cleanliness issues with cobwebs and a dirty fan. But on the face of it, when I've actually spent a bit more time in it, I've actually thought, no, actually, I do quite like it here. So that's why I've decided to up my score to three and a half. When I walk into the room, I did get a little bit of a, you know, wow, you know, that, that, that's quite nice. I, I like what they've done. I like the way it's it's been refurbished. Um, this is an old building. You're going to have imperfections in an old building. You're going to have rough edges. I walk along at the bottom of the bed there and I feel like I'm drunk because the floors are uneven. Um, so I think three would have been a bit mean, but I don't think it quite gives me a four. But overall, I think this is a very nice little place. There's also free car parking at the back. It's it, it shared with some residents and some businesses, but there's, you know, I've had no problems finding the space whatsoever. 
So there we go. This is the Cock Hotel, which is a, a part of the Green King Vintage Inns range. Of course, as usual, I'll leave the link down below so you can check that out. And there we are. That concludes my stay here. Time for me to um, get off to work. And until the next time, look forward to seeing you right here on Craig's Life. Bye.